Welcome to the final episode of Skyblog Randomizer Nuzlocke. My name is Spade, and I just want to say, first off, thank you so much everyone who's been watching and supporting the series. It has been definitely a lot of fun doing, and uh, yeah. Here today, on this final episode, I thought we could uh, kind of start things off by uh, doing, I guess, a little world tour and uh, see and take a look at what we have done and achieved on this long way to victory. Uh, we as a collective group of shovels and a spade. I don't know, and what is that piggy doing over there? But it's a nice view that we got here. You can see everything except for the stuff that's on Nether. But uh, yeah, uh, let's just uh, do a little world tour and uh, go through everything and uh, remember, try to remember what we have done and uh, just check out everything basically. But here, here on this dome that started from, that's the only, that's the only, the last uh, block of uh, grass that we have from the original islands. This is where it all started from the small little islands. We had only this, this block here had few of those items, including the lava, which is now over there on the cobblestone machine that I've been using throughout this let's play. And uh, yeah, this is where we started, had the small little three, that we, uh, why is there random lag? Okay, there we go, yeah, had that uh, small little uh, three over there, that we chopped down, now we got a three farm over there, used a bunch of threes and stuff and uh, yeah really hard to believe how everything just got started from a small island and that's the beauty of this map really awesome map I was really happy that I finally got a chance to do this and uh, yeah I think it turned out pretty awesome so anyways uh, after that we we made the little uh, waterfall to start with so that we could build down so that we could uh, we would be guaranteed to uh, take all the grass blocks so that they wouldn't fall. So I expanded down here with the whole waterfall and started building this little platform here. Then we expanded over this yonder. Let me just uh, use my minecart. But yeah, we expanded over over here where we have a bunch of interesting stuff going on right now. And this is where we had the uh, sand going on and there was also that uh, Cactus that we uh, took down also got the cactus farm or what kind of used to be a cactus farm now There's only f only one so I don't know if that counts anymore, but anyways, uh, we'll get to that What do we have? What do we have here anyways? Yeah, a bunch of mob loot and Bunch of random let me actually take me some melons. Why not? One st stack of melons that used to be the best source of food until I got some potatoes and this was our first ever hostile mob system, kind of a ghetto design, if you will. Uh, but uh, it kind of got the job done in the first place. We uh, got a bunch of mobs spawning here, and uh, by doing that, we also uh, saw some uh, zombies, and uh, we got some potatoes, and we got some carrots, and we were able to start a potato and a carrot farm, and potato was definitely a good source of uh, food for the longest time which I'm still kind of using cuz yeah but anyways uh, first after we expanded the little um, freaking ghetto uh, hostile mob system we expanded it this way to have a little killing area where they can drown and where I could potentially just knock them out for more uh, rare drops and I do believe we got something yeah we got a music disc here what else do we have some random dies. I don't know what these are doing here, but whatever. Got a bunch of ca carrots here and some potatoes still. And, uh, ooh, there's actually one iron ingot. And we got some, uh, nice, uh, freaking enchantments. Yes, on this golden helmet. And what else do we got? Leather boots, power two on this bow, another music disc here. Yeah, a bunch of cool stuff that we got here then eventually we expanded over there to the super awesome hostile mob system which is like 10 times better we could actually take a look at that next since it is 
right here, as you can see, or here rather, there's a bunch of mobs there, and I was trying to do kind of something that is still unfinished, but I guess I'll talk about that in a uh, moment as we just uh, get back up here. Oh no, it's a spider jockey! It's a spider jockey! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, 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 Eat one melon. There we go. Hello, mobs coming from there. But this was a huge project, this hostile mob system. But uh, yeah, we definitely got a bunch of loot. Although, still the problem is that I haven't uh, gotten any spiders here to get a string. Although that's not really a problem anymore because I have a freaking uh, freaking uh, sheep farm so I can just get wool directly that way so not really an issue but still kind of a weird thing I guess ever since the uh, there was some like some updates ago uh, they changed the uh, AI's uh, difficulty or uh, made it better so uh, that's a thing I guess and I because of that, spiders are now more clever and they don't like to climb up this uh, Tower of Doom. So that's the thing. But what I decided to do, since we have a bunch of iron, I decided to change the bottom bottom layer and then just put... Uh, can I take a look? Yes, there we go. Item hoppers in there and they will be sucking the items. Then I had kind of a plan to... Uh, yeah, that's uh, the other new item. Is it... A dropper? Yes. Hopper and a dropper. So I put a dropper below it and I was thinking I could just drop those items but in order for the hop, I mean the dropper to drop an item it needs to have like a uh, infinite uh, redstone signal which I was too lazy to actually put in so I was like whatever I don't care. I don't really care at this point but that's just something that I was trying to do on my own time. We still got some iron ingots. Zombies drop a bunch of stuff now. Iron ingots and uh, potatoes, carrots, all sorts of cool stuff. And in the first place, this was the only way to get iron. But now, of course, we got the iron golem farm over there that we are going to take a look at in a moment, I guess. Another set of uh, leather boots. More, more of these enchanted stuff here. That's pretty cool. Okay, okay. I guess we could take a look at the uh, droppers uh, but there you can see the one guy has I probably should have used my sword he had some uh, cool enchanted armor but of course in order for the zombies or the skeletons to give their rare drops you have to kill them yourself that's how it works and there goes my iron sword let me use another one that is pretty much dead as well but yeah, this is, this is what I used to do, also kind of a nice way to get some experience, I, I, I guess. Can I get to level 40? Probably not. Still would require a bunch, bunch more. Let me, yeah. All the items go to the uh, droppers. And let me actually jump down. There we go. Oh, look at that! A CD! A CD! No! <laughs> and eat me some potatoes. And maybe some of these melons. Let me actually build a little nuke tower. Right here. There shouldn't be any mobs around. Because everything is torched and that is half slapped. Let me just go quickly over here. To take a look. One last peek, not close enough, there we go. But yeah, all the items get stuck like in here and uh, yeah, the problem kind of is that uh, I was hoping that these droppers would just drop the items straight down, then I could have some sort of system there, but they don't automatically drop the items and I should make like some sort of infinite redstone loop and it's kind of, I don't know how to do one that would be convenient, that would activate all four of them. So, yeah, now they're just kind of stuck here in limbo, but I'm not really using these items for anything. So, it doesn't matter, but that's just kind of something that I was playing around with. But uh, now, let's just go 
dig straight down because that is what we do in Minecraft most definitely the best thing you can do and let me uh, okay nothing nothing we move on I guess we could now take a look at this place over here this is where we were uh, collecting um, ender pearls long long time ago or I think it was like episode 12 I think but yeah I didn't have torches here and then this was three blocks tall so that enderman could spawn in here and oh man we have just a bunch of bats here but eventually I did get uh, all the ender pearls I needed I think that took like a freaking hour because yeah, they just didn't really like to spawn and then we uh, then we were kind of just chilling in here and Enderman of course couldn't get to this area and it was all around good times got the uh, got the challenge done for Skyblog in order to get those uh, 10 Ender Pearls and uh, yeah we got it and that's it and I guess now we can move on to the next little island or a section of this Skyblock area that I have made. I had this uh, crossroad area kind of thing like planned since the beginning like so that I can separate everything and I thought it would, would, would be kind of nice. I didn't want to have like everything stuck in one place and be all cramped up so I was like hey I want to do this kind of design and this is Jason the Iron Golem the original first Iron Golem that we had over there but now let's head over to the farm and and I think I could also have a little nap so that it's gonna be daytime and I made myself a little iron golem uh, head statue or whatever you wanna call it mostly out of wool because I didn't really feel like using iron or at the time I didn't I'm not really sure if I would have had enough to turn all the iron that I've gotten so far into iron blocks and I didn't wanna do the harvest because I wanted to save it for this episode because there's a bunch of iron golems right there just waiting to be harvested let me just take a look it says 86 entities and minus 16 so that would be like 70 golems 70 iron golems over there oh man but this was also a huge project that we did and uh, this could definitely be expanded but uh, like there was really no need to to get any more of iron because yeah we are on skyblock after all but yeah just look at these guys and the funny thing if I drop down boing it's gonna <laughs> bounce me off just because there's so freaking much pressure and the same thing with iron golems as with villagers and other random mobs every time I log in they seem to be glitching through the walls and then some of them suffocate that's actually the way I've been like getting iron because I haven't wanted to harvest all of them but now actually let me just uh, kill all of them holy crap and let's take a look this is all the iron that I have now let me actually let me actually not take any any of them because I want to see how many uh, how much iron am I going to take from this one last harvest let me actually go up here and see how it looks from above if I can if I just can but it should be taking quite a while to kill them just because uh, yeah iron golems have a bunch of health so that's kind of a thing with the golems and we don't have any kind of lava trap here just because we don't really have lava because I have the one there we go now they died noise Oh man, that's a lot of iron right there. Let's go and harvest. But yeah, got the lava machine, cobblestone maker over there. So didn't w really want to use it for this thing. And it doesn't really matter too much because again, we are on Skyblock. Iron is not really that necessary, but it's just one extra little thing. But yeah, normally it would be, <laughs> wow. Wow, four stacks and almost a half. What? Four stacks and 18. And a stack of roses plus 14 to spare. Oh man, that's a bunch of iron. Holy crap. Let's just put it all away. There we go. Put those roses away like so. Let me actually take this 
almost half of a oh wait it's a bit more than a half of a stack of iron and let me just take it might be using it for something I guess I could make myself like some iron tools oh, what? oh yes oh yes the one thing that I was actually planning that I think I'm gonna need actually more iron for is I was going to make an anvil there we go do I have enough and you make it like this right right there we go I had I had enough there we go but I think I'm gonna let's just take one stack in case I wanna do something something with the iron why not let's take one stack there we go I got a few extras now we got an anvil a new item in one of the patches uh, which came out some time ago was it in 1.47 I don't know I'm not a, I'm not a minecraft pro I'm sorry what else was I going to do I guess just because I'm gonna make a dropper because that's kind of a cool item one of the new items as well and then the how do you make oh yes I need to make a chest if I'm gonna make a hopper that is and I guess on the final episode you know we could just make how was it it wasn't like this you take this one off there we go that's how you do it that's how you do it but yeah I had these hoppers over there and then a bunch of those droppers as well but yeah right here we got the farm area got some potatoes growing here also some carrots which I've been growing now a lot because I have those pigs over there so I need to feed those pigs and there I got a bunch of potatoes let's just take this half of a stack why not why not do I have anything in these furnaces not really but this is where I've been just uh, baking my potatoes and this is where we got the tree farm going on and remove a bunch of these because I want to have more blocks for the for that place over there where we uh, had the animal spawn but uh, yeah that's why this area why the, my, why the melons aren't melon farm isn't currently active either because I had to move a bunch of blocks over there and now that's kind of just a wheat farm just to uh, feed all the cows and all the sheep and this is where we got the sugar canes and the cactus had to remove some to do the uh, actual challenge for skyblock so yeah remove these corner pieces which had cactus or cacti in them somebody was correcting me a long time ago they it's not cactus or cactuses uh, and it's cacti but I think you can say it the both way cactuses and cacti it's just it's just a matter of preference as far as I know I think in English language you can say it the both way but whatever um, one last look yeah, I got those random mushrooms that we were growing some episodes ago and uh, a random spring here which is kind of just uh, I don't know nothing special just made it randomly and the original wheat farm our infinite water source out of many but now let's go and I think next we could head over to we did talk about the animals so I guess we could take a look at the animal farm and let me just quickly run over here take a look at this but yeah this is turned into a wheat farm and I still have this one block because we moved it some episodes ago over here and eventually we turned this whole area into grass in order to make animals spawn and that was kind of cool and again they have glitched through the fence areas but uh, yeah now since I got the animals I turned this into a wheat farm just to feed the animals so there is that and here is our beloved animal farm oh yes the cows and the pigs they have all escaped and it's all shenanigans and do I have do you have some shears I can shave this escaped sheep where was it there was one like right here or was it oh it must be this one I was glitching through just get out of here but yeah bunch of sheep bunch of uh, chickens cows pigs everything and we were able to get it from that little spot there it's crazy how everything started just from just from a scratch 
Let me just uh, put all these eggs and the wool. I guess. Piggy, what are you doing there? Trying to go? Don't go to my chest. There's just some uh, rock pork chop over there, so you you would not be interested. But now, since we are here, might as well jump over to the Nether and take one last look of that place. And yeah, we have had a bunch of animals like jumping here. And I did you just came through? I tried to lock some of them over here, but you know, just more keep on coming and glitching through the fences and jumping over to the nether. So we got some nether cows, nether sheep, nether chicken, and nether pigs, and everything. But anyways, right here, I don't have any stuff that I can throw with me, do I? And do I have a shovel with me? Do we have any snow here? Yes, we do. I wanna get some snow, and I do have this shovel. There we go. That should be, let's just say, plenty of snow. Although I don't want to break this shovel. Because that's like the original iron spade that I got a long time ago from a zombie, I do believe. But it looks to still have some power in it, except not yet. Not anymore. So there we go. Let's get some snowballs. Use them for the zombie pigmen. Test the zombie pigmen farm for the one last time. And this is the main way that I've been getting some gold and zombie pigments should be like dropping down. There we go. Get some gold nuggets right here. They are right up there. And sometimes they are dropping down, but in order to make this go faster, of course, we can just uh, throw them with uh, snowballs to make them angry. And there we go. And they should all die to the fall, except some of them randomly live because I guess some of them are able to drop on the chest chest that I got going on there and then live I, I guess although the chest is kind of far away but I don't really know all of them should like die and this is where I had like a little AFK area I just uh, throw a snowball at them then uh, wait for wait for them to drop down and then I just AFK here for more more of them to spawn throw more snowballs and uh, Rinse and repeat. There we go. Do we have some up here? Yes, we do. There we go. Just let them drop down. And then just collect the loot. And this way I have gotten a bunch of gold. Although I'm pretty much out of it because I've been kind of just trading it with the villagers and stuff. And I don't know what else I've been using it for. But that's interesting. Like there was experience. Which really shouldn't happen because I'm not the one directly killing them, so that's interesting. Let me just pull out my sword just in case some of them actually manage to live. But yeah, I got a bunch of this rotten flesh here, which is not really useful for anything. And a few times I've gotten gold ingot drops. That's kind of interesting as well as these golden swords because they are rare drops which can only be... Uh, uh, which you can only get by uh, killing them yourself because they are rare drops. That's how it works. But I've been killing them with fall damage, but still sometimes I have gotten some of those rare drops. But anyways, here we got the Wither, wither Ranch. Or uh, it was kind of, it just started as a blaze farm and that's what it still kind of is. But it also spawns Withers because it just happens to be in the crossroad section where we have a bunch of other things spawning as well. We got zombie pigmen, we got the blaze, but uh, this was a huge deal and this was yeah 102 1 and Z50. But it's like yeah it was the X100 Z50 area that I was going for and uh, yeah made this and in order to uh, get the blaze rods obviously we need the blaze and uh, yeah, I was able to get these guys spawn in here and then get their sweet blaze rods. And this was the beginning of a huge project because with these uh, blazes, we were able to get the blaze rods and we could use that to make the brewing stand. And with the brewing stand, we can make potions. And with potions, we can cure zombie villagers. And with villagers, we can start a village. And that was kind of just really awesome. 
and there we go and now I'm burning awesome and we got one skelly over there Come on, come on. Let me just kill you. Let's see if we can get one more wither skull out of this. Every, everybody seems to be dead. Still kind of interesting how uh, wither skeletons are three blocks tall, but they are still able to uh, spawn in a two by uh, two area, or in an area rather that is just two blocks tall. That's the requirement. But they are still considered uh, skeletons. Let me get myself withered. Can I get withered? There we go. Now I'm withered. Awesome. You can kind of barely see how you're losing like your health and I should probably cure myself so that I can restore some health. But there we go. It's kind of faintly how you can see your HP while you are withered. But uh, anyways, did we actually... I don't think we got any, any of that. Let me just uh, take that. There we go. Put that back on. And put that back on. And right here we got a bunch of stuff. Still got some leftover with a skeleton skulls here. And this is like really ideal for making a with a skeleton farm. Because you have like nothing around you that could spawn. So... The only mobs that are going to be spawning are going to be right here and yeah a really easy way to get wither skeletons it would be kind of this would be really cool to build one of these in survival but you just have to basically do what's on skyblock and just remove everything around so that nothing is able to spawn except on the place where you have the crossroad section with the wither skeleton spawn but uh yeah kind of cool we're able to make a wither skeleton farm as we were doing a blaze farm although you don't have soul sand so can't do the wither skeleton fight and apparently we got a uh, slime chunk or magma cube chunk rather up there so we have some random magma cubes like spawning here too up there that is and i guess i'll just get rid of this too many zombie pigmen dropping down and that guy seems to be going like a yo-yo and now he's dead he is gone so now that we have seen all that there really is to see in the nether we can head back random ne nether egg from the nether chicken of course goodbye cow and chicken and the piggies and the other stuff and okay things are glitching through the mighty chicken is standing on top of the chest so there is that and now last section that we haven't taken a look at would be like right here but mr piggy of course you are on the way why are you on the way and why are the pigs are randomly like going here to the middle section and i probably should have tried to get a boost but i didn't mr mr piggy there we go <clears throat> get a boost get a boost there we go there we go can we go in no sometimes i can let me just try it out one more time. Can I go? No. Seriously, when I've been not recording this, I usually can like go to the next crossroad. I mean the railroad. And I don't know what I'm rambling. Just go. There we go. But it goes in the wrong direction. So don't want to do that. But actually, no. Let's take a look at what we got here. The slime farm that I made some episodes ago and we got a bunch of slime and this was of course of course for sticky pistons and we were able to because I had a waterfall going on that's how I got all those uh, ink sacks from the squid here I got a little viewing area there we go other slime pushing the big one they are all working together getting up here but I haven't really used slimes for too much but it was just one cool project and of course for Sticky pistons that was really useful Do we have any slimes here? Not on the top layer But really nice system slimes just gather over here then they drown they turn into smaller slimes as I see this thing in action for the one last time But that thing should be like drowning in any 
moment now. There we go. Turns into those half sides, sized uh, slimes, and then they are going to be drowning, turning into the smallest of the slimes, and only the smallest ones are able to fit through. And then they will be going over to this noob tower, which has uh, ladders over there, and slimes for who knows what reasons are able to climb ladders. So that's kind of a cool thing. And let's go. I should be able to go through here. Let me take some blocks off. There we go. All of them get collected in here, pushed here, and then do I have... There we go. There's my axe. And then just climb the ladder. Actually, I could... Why not? Let's just climb the ladder, shall we? Because that way is going to take longer. So, there we go. Bunch of, bunch of slimes also climbing up with us. But, there we go. Quick way to get to the top if you want to rock and roll, of course. And we can just get up from here because there's a small little corner. Sometimes slimes can actually jump on that and then jump up, but it just really rarely happens. Mr. Pig, what are you doing? Just don't get stuck in there, okay? Don't get stuck in there. But yeah, I've got a bunch of... Uh, Bunch of these slime balls again, and let's try if we can get a chicken in here. Just because. Okay, Mr. Chess, you can do that. Nope, no dice. Although I could try this out a bunch of times, got a bunch of eggs, but not like it matters. But, yeah, that was an interesting little project that we got going on. Just found the slime chunk and then just started building here. And, uh, yeah, it's a double, it's a double layer uh, slime farm. And here, the masterpiece itself. The village that started from a scratch when we uh, got the blaze for uh, blaze rods from the blaze farm, made this uh, little uh, brewing stand here, and then I believe I do still have that yeah splash potion of weakness. Still got one more left, and we used we used these uh, we had those spider eyes, yes, spider eyes, and then we needed sugar, and what else did we need for the fermented spider eye? So that we could make the potion of weakness, and then we just threw that at the uh, zombie villager and uh, gave it a golden apple, and it turned into a regular villager. And that was a giant pain in the ass. And let me see how many. 330 around that. Holy crap. We need to do something about these guys, and uh, we'll get to that momentarily. But uh, what else do I have in here? But yeah, we just had the uh, little ghetto farm of darkness here, which was filled with bats again. But uh, eventually we were able to get those uh, zombie villagers, two of them, cure them, and then out of two zombie villagers, we got 400, over 400 villagers, which is just crazy, I tell you, crazy. And here's the house that we, uh, made last time and I have kind of done a bit of decorating in here just to make it look kind of nice put in some windows back here and uh, have a little random lamp here which you can kind of just turn on and off and it's kind of ugly when the switch is back there but there isn't really anything else that you can do do with it to turn it on because I kind of wanted to have it like go like hanging from the ceiling like kind of like a chandelier or something. Uh, but anyways, got a random library here and some tables, wannabe chairs, and then my achievements on the walls because I've been hunting for those withers and I decided to put a couple of them alongside with some frames. Just wanted to try it out, see how it would look like. And I guess I didn't even go through this, but I made like a little, whatchamacallit, um, a porch. Would that be the right word for this little thing? area, chilling area before you go in, uh, but yeah, uh, made this little porch here, and uh, of course had to use these iron doors, because we, we still have the infinite breeding loop going up there, and I didn't want to stop it, so I had to make iron doors so that it wouldn't affect the efficiency of the uh, infinite breeding loop, or just overall screw it over, but yeah, right here, he's the cleaning cleaning dude here, he's cleaning up, I, uh, he doesn't have his broom on 
right now, but uh, he's been cleaning up the upstairs here, just chilling here and uh, bunking with me. Put a bunch of, a uh, couple of these uh, paintings on the walls. I thought it would be, would be kinda neat. And then I just put some other random stuff, furnace, a random chest of mysteries and the crafting table over there, plus my bed. I like to sleep by the window. I guess we could go up here as well. Nothing is too, nothing too special going on here. But uh, change this weight up here a little bit. I thought it would still be kind of cool to go up to the ceiling, and we got some random villagers just chilling here on the roof. Cause yeah, they feel like it. And now let me just uh, drop down. There we go. Now, what I was kind of thinking uh, was um, at the uh, end of the last episode, um, we had some mobs here because I hadn't lit up this place completely. And I thought because we have a bunch of these and we had one zombie here, I thought it would be kind of cool to get some zombies spawning in here and then just turn some of these villagers back into zombie villagers and uh, see how we, it would turn out. Who would win? The mobs or the uh, zombies? So I'm gonna take off these torches right here and we're gonna have a bunch of mobs just spawning in here and see what happens and who is going to win? The villagers or the zombies and the other mobs that are going to be spawning here but I think it's gonna be pretty cool there's gonna be a bunch of uh, zombies spawning in here turning these guys back into zombie villagers and uh, yeah it, it should be fun, so I'm gonna just uh, take off all the torches that I can and night time is actually coming pretty soon, so we don't even need to wait that long or we shouldn't do, we, do I have any torches back here? apparently I don't, so that's something I probably should have torched earlier on, but not like it matters because we're gonna take all the torches away got some over there, still so let me take this off, and this off, and are we all clear? Are we all clear? And then I think I could just go to the roof and just uh, chill over there and see what happens. We should, or is it going to be enough? Because I should be like about 20 blocks away in order for the mobs to spawn. And let me just take these corner torches off as well so there we go the night time is about to come and just checking for any less possible torches I think we should have a bunch of mobs here because there's a lot of space in here for them to spawn let me take this one off as well there we go the night time is about to come and I'm, I'm gonna just go like over here and they should be able to spawn because they were spawning last time too but now they just have a bunch of more area to spawn on because of uh no light and then i'm just gonna i'm just gonna try to book it and go to the top of the roof and then we should have a lot nice little survivor series of our own here so let's see how this is going to turn out are there still some torches there or is that just light coming out of the house? I think so. From the window, should I? I'm just cover these windows for now. There we go. Is there light coming from here as well? All right. Now a little bit better, although I was still kind of hoping to just book it and go in, but I do have my axe and my axe. All right, there we go. It begins. <laughs> Look at that armored zombie. Oh dear, he went down there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> this is gonna be great. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> oh, that could not have gone any better. We got more zombies. Let me make. There we go. More of them are turning 
and I'm gonna make myself a couple iron swords just in case something goes wrong oh man oh man <laughs> and he went in too look at this oh my goodness oh mr. spider get out of here and I do have my iron armor and these zombies are just tracking the villagers so I don't need to worry about that too much oh man oh oh mr. Mr. Spider. Oh man. But yeah, again, these guys are just tracking the villagers. Let me actually release them. <laughs> we could have a little zombie villager. That would be so awesome. They are so cute. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh man, this is awesome. <laughs> but if they start tracking me, at least I don't think they are. This guy, these two are. Or at least that one. Are both of them? Yeah, it kind of looks like it. Well. Are you going to... No, they are... Both of these guys are tracking me, so... Gotta kill him. Gotta kill him. Alright. Oh, man. Absolute massacre. <laughs> oh, all of them are pretty much turned. Right here, too. And they got in there. How did they get... Look at that! Is that a little zombie villager guy? <laughs> uh, oh dear, that thing is so cute and you have a sword. But I do still have my iron armor. And... I'm just go in here. Oh man. Oh man, you got in! You got in! You don't have a passport in here. And he dropped an iron sword. And did I just turn every villager? No, we got a couple in here. That's good. That is good. Hey, what if, what if, oh yes, I'm gonna have these guys come up here, and then we got a little friend. <laughs> protect them, protect them, and me. Yes! No, there's one more, there's one more. Aw, come on. And you're, you're just gonna be jumping on my bench and let me, like, die to this guy? No, 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 no. There we go! You finally did your job. Let's just go in here, see what's going on. Oh, oh dear, more of them. Let's see this guy turn. It, no, he ran away. Run away, run away, run away. Uh, any, of, any of them trying to track me? Oh! What a jerk, he pushed him off the edge. A total chaos here. A total chaos. These guys are trying to follow me. Oh man. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Don't do it. Or you could, if you want. Now let's go to the roof. That is on fire! Oh man. This is awesome. This went better than expected. I wasn't sure if they could get into those uh, little cells that I have set up for them. But they sure did. They sure did. Oh man, look at these guys. Got some armored zombies in there too. That's interesting. If you if they just turn a random villager over, they have a chance to get some armor. Should I let them go? That's the next question. I think it would be kinda awesome. Oh man, so many of them. And there are still apparently few more legit villagers left in there. Oh look at that! Whoa! Oh, that's the original guy. That's the original guy who turned most of these guys. Look at them. Oh, there was one more. Oh, look at that. There are so many of these guys. Alright, let's have round two with the Iron Golem because it's freaking awesome. Alright. Alright, you guys, get over here. My Iron Golem is ready. Yeah! Yes! Massacre! Destruction! But no! Don't go down there! Let's... Look at that iron arm guy. Hello! I'm gonna just hit you. You, sir. It's Iron Zombie versus the Iron Golem! Right? You're gonna help me with this. You're... Hey, look at this! Your friend is being turned here, and you're not going to do a damn thing about it, really? 
Really? Oh, look. Oh, man. Oh, man. Look. Wow. Uh, uh. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Let me just get in here. Get over here. Get over here. And then just push them. Go away. With my Tato. My mighty Tato. There we go. Ugh. Ugh. Do I have any regular villagers left? Because I was kind of counting on these guys that were upstairs to be fine. But Mr. Iron Golem is like, I'm not going to do anything. Herp a derp and derp. But it doesn't matter because this is the final episode. So, not the end of the world. Just kind of curi curious still. There we go. And now they are tracking on the one guy. Oh dear, there's a creeper. Oh no, don't blow away my tor por porch. Do not, don't do that. Although, oh man. Is the day tie co coming already? And I wonder if they are going to survive like in there. I still have this. Maybe I should like cover up this area just in case I feel like at some point turning them over so I can have them just chill over there. Hello. Hello. But I guess they turned every single one. How many zombies? 344? Really? I guess that could make sense. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. None of them, at least are, at least for now, are tracking me. Although now they're trying to go from up there. <laughs> it's so freaking awesome. Oh. oh man, oh man. We got some zombie villagers over here and that little zombie guy. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, and now let's see what is going to happen as the sun comes up. Bunch of them are obviously going to die, but oh yeah, they are. What I was kind of worried about, but as somebody was pointing out, I guess some of these zombies, if I just give them items, they are not going to despawn. Can other one of you guys pick an item? Um, doesn't look like it. But at least one of them has an item, so he should not be despawning. So that's, that's kind of cool. And I wonder if I would throw these guys some items. Are they going to... Oh, look at that! Oh, man. Oh, man. Don't die, you guys. Don't die. I may still want to turn some of you. There we go. They're all fine and they should have some items in there. But that guy survives because he has armor. And how are these guys? I guess they are in the shadows. So they are able to live. But maybe it would be kind of cool to then again turn some of these guys back. Because I do have that one potion of weakness that I could throw at them. But I do not have gold. Do I? Do I have any gold in here? I don't. That is a damn shame. I have one gold ingot. Can I... Can I turn it back? Yes, I can. So... But I don't have an apple. Do I have an apple in here? Maybe random apple? Random apple? No. No random apple? That kind of blows. Do I have any apples in here? Let's go back in here. And then repair possibly some of these zombies back to villagers again. Reverting the guys that I just changed. Oh man, so much inception and stuff going on. But I got some apples here and I could use more gold. That's kind of, that is true. Wait, I do have these blocks of gold. Can I turn these? Yes, there we go. 
That's how we can do this, definitely. I uh, wanna throw slimes over there. Now, let's go back. And I wonder how many of them have despawned already. Let's see how, if we hear anything. Yep, I hear a bunch. I guess I wasn't too far away for them to despawn. And now, let me take this. Let me just throw those seeds like there. And take this bad boy. And what I should probably do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just uh, torch this area again. I'm gonna wait for the night, just so that I'm guaranteed that sunlight doesn't hit them. So then I'm gonna. Oh wait, but then the problem is I cannot turn all of them, but I guess I can just kill some some of them. We'll see what I do. We shall see. How am I able to, if I turn it, if I throw a potion weakness at the giant herd, sure some of them are going to turn, but then they are going to turn like back. And that's kind of, it's kind of a problem, is it not? So I have to see what I can do. But then again, if I still have couple of guys here, I could turn them. But anyways, I'll just keep on torching this place up and wait for the night and uh, I will check you guys back in a moment. We are back and the night is upon us. And we should have hopefully some guys over here. Are all of them like zombie villagers? Let me just check from the top. But anyways, I made a few golden apples and if I'm just able to turn these guys back that would be kind of nice. Is that one guy, that baby zombie villager? He should be able to escape. But all of them are... There we go. There we go. So let me see how am I going to do this. We got a bunch more like in here. Oh man. Too many I tell you. Let me just break you. Got a bunch of glass if I... If I want more. I just got the potion over there. So let me throw it right down. There we go. I think that hit everybody. So now it's time to feed. There we go. If I and I let me just break all this glass. There we go. In you, sir. And what about the baby? What about the baby? There we go, all of them have been hit. And, well, then I guess the problem would be that they might want to attack each other when, um, when they turn. When one of them turns, then they just, hmm, well, that's going to be kind of interesting to see. Like, if one of them turns back, others attack him, turn him back, then it's just going to fail. That is my question, but well, we are going to find it out, I guess. So, we shall see. And there's this one guy over here. Let me just um, cover this back up with glass. Put that one there so that we can view from the side if we want. Cover this from the top. And then I... Yes, what do I need to? The real question is that how did this these guys turn in the first place? Because they were stuck in here. How did that work out? Because they couldn't get through. No zombies could get through. But then again, there has been a bunch of glitching already, so it's not really anything new. I should probably like kill some of these guys, or I don't know. I wonder if that's gonna like... If these guys are going to then turn these guys. We're gonna see. But they are having a little party there. Going around. Having fun. Good times. I do have that one guy up there. Obviously, but he's kinda part of the breeding loop and stuff. But how many do we have now? 220-ish. So that is kind of cool, I guess. And oh man, so many zombies here. But let's wait for 
some of these guys to turn and see what happens with that. I don't really, in the end, I don't really care if I lose the villagers, because yeah, this is like the final episode and we're just kind of having fun. And gotta say, this went like a lot better than I was expecting. I didn't think that these guys would be able to turn all of the uh, villagers back into zombies, but they were. And we're gonna see what happens with these guys when they revert back. Are they going to be... Okay, so these guys started from two zombie villagers. So they are the offsprings of the Adam and the Eve zombies. And uh, then they were turned into zombies. And now they're gonna get turned back into villagers. And possibly then into zombies. So when they turn back, then the question is, do the zombie, when the first one turns, do the other zombies attack the just reverted villager? And, oh man. Zombieception, I tell you. Zombieception. Do you want a blank? No, he doesn't want a blank. And... Yeah, that... Wow, it happened. It just happened. Okay, I might just, uh... Let these guys out, okay? Oh dear! The little guy! He's fast! He's furious! Look at him! Which one doesn't have the twinkles? That is the question. But I could, like, let these guys, like, turn in here. Oh, oh, there we go. What I could do. They cannot get to me. And they are tracking me. And I believe this guy is the one who I should kill. He doesn't have the twinkles. And these guys do. And they are about to turn. So can these guys turn back? And can I restart my village? Restart after restart. I mean, started after what I started and things and stuff. And this is kind of interesting. Oh man. That thing is so cute. <laughs> And he has a, like a little baby zombie noise too. That is so freaking awesome. And there we go, he turns. And we got one more guy to turn. Is he going to turn as well? Come on. There we go. There we go. And now you guys can start breeding again. Yes. And you probably shouldn't like go outside. So how about... I try and block this off somehow. Although now I kind of just trapped myself. There we go. That was kind of fun. And now actually it's time for the Big Bang finish. And yeah, these guys are safely here in the corner. Hopefully protected by this iron golem like it should have been in the first place. But he was just jumping on my bed and didn't protect. And then the guys who I thought were safe weren't exactly safe. But I thought a great way, after all these shenanigans, a great way to end the episode would be with some rockets. And so I have prepared this mighty chest of doom. And let me actually just uh, put a bunch of this stuff off just because we need more space. So there we go. Let me get these rockets. Let me actually build one. I should have the materials. There we go. So, there's my crafting table. First we needed to make some sort of firework star. There we go. And we can, you can use a bunch of these different dyes and then you can also use heads. I, I actually used one with a skeleton skull to create a, what I do believe is like a creeper skull uh, explosion thingy mac bobber so we're gonna see how that is going to be looking although it's gonna be daytime so I guess I'll just have to make another cot but we can still prepare this and I believe it is like this you place that on the top and then if you place one over there then the duration is one if I place another one then it's two and with three you have duration three so that's kind of a cool thing 
Well, there we go. Let me get a couple of those. That's how you make fireworks. Because might might as well do like one, do it once on camera. And uh, yeah, got these prepared. But uh, since it is daytime, that's not really what I want. Um, I am just going to wait till the night falls again. And uh, yeah, then just cut back, and we we're, we're gonna see. Did all those zombies die, by the way? But yeah, we're gonna do a cut in a moment. And I guess they... No? But I wouldn't really want you to die. But I guess they are kind of dying. So let me cover the rest of those guys. Just because, you know, it's cool to have some pet zombies there. Isn't it? But yeah. Uh, gonna wait for the uh, night time to come again. And when that happens, we're gonna have a big bang and uh, firework finish. And it's funny because I'm finished. But why did you come out? Why did you come out here? Hopefully your parents are still in. Let me just lock you in. But yeah, I'm uh, gonna make the cut now and uh, we're gonna see what happens and we're gonna also see if these guys are gonna start breeding again like crazy. But uh, yeah, see you guys in a moment. Look at this little daredevil right here. Oh man, just teasing the zombie because he doesn't have anyone else to play with, I guess. The snow is gone, no more distractions. And now we're gonna end things off with a big bang. And these guys, I can see lobby dubbies every now and then, but they still haven't really, like, bred. Which is kind of interesting, but whatever. And I put down this, um animal right here because I thought I could try it out and how does it it cost okay with four I can fix it I'm gonna call this iron speed so let's fix it there we go and we got a name for it although it would have got cost like only one one freaking new iron to make a brand new shovel but okay I thought I would just try it out and it's kind of cool that I can name it with an animal so that's the thing but we do still have plenty of night left so let me just move things around with my inventory a bit Here we go that away those on we go with those in use and then we'll save that one for last because it is the creeper explosion which I use a uh, a uh, freaking wither skeleton skull. Four. Let's start with this. What is it, anyways? A uh, small ball, green. Okay. How does it look like? Oh yes, beautiful, beautiful. Oh so nice. There we go. Nice. And what is this next one? All right. Star shaped, white, red. I should probably just shoot a bunch of them at once. There we go. Let's see what else do we have. Star shape, white, with white reds. Small ball of lime, pink. Okay, so red, pink. White, pink. In red. Star shaped. Okay, okay. Let me just now randomly, like, fire a bunch of these. There we go. Nice. Although I kind of want to see them myself. There we go. It's beautiful. Fireworks makes the game so much better. They are kind of cool though, I must say. There we go. Pew. Got a bit, bit of the night left still. Right? Right? We do. So let's fire off these guys. Nice. Is it really going to be... Oh no. I still haven't shot my creeper yet. And there we go. Nice. How do these look like? Not bad. Now, before the day comes, we shall shoot the creeper rocket. And it's gonna look like... What? What? Well, that wasn't cool at all, because I couldn't see it because it was directly down below me. How could I... How can you see it if it's, like, directly above you anyways? Oh man, that wasn't as cool as I thought it would be. Like you'd have to be like over there 
but I can't get there in time. So there's that. But there we go. Had a bit of uh, fireworks for the celebration of this fine series. I really want to thank you again for watching. It's been definitely a lot of fun doing the series. And uh, yeah, I really, in the first place, really wanted to do this for quite some time. And I was really satisfied with the result. And uh, do want to thank you for all the feedback because this, ha this series has done pretty well on my channel. So uh, yeah, again, thank you everyone so much for watching. I do have some ideas for uh, future plans, what I'm going to do with Minecraft. There is one, somebody was suggesting I should do, uh, is it Survival Island? I think it was called, and I think I could potentially do that. Uh, but if you do have some suggestions for interesting custom maps, maybe like indeed custom survival maps, uh, leave a comment below and you guys are not going to escape. But you guys are not breeding either. And where is the kid? Where is the pesky kid? Is he on the roof causing shenanigans? Or is he dead because he fell off the roof? That would serve him right. Because he was a pesky little guy to begin with. Let me just block you off because you guys need to kind of do breeding, but they are not doing anything. I don't know what's going on with them, but whatever. This was definitely a blast. I had a lot of fun with those zombies killing every villager or rather just turning them and eating their brains or whatever they do. It was really fun to see in action how, how, that, how that turned out. Hope you guys enjoy as well. And uh, yeah, now we are pretty much done. With yeah, well, we have been done with all the challenges for who knows how long and to be honest I don't really want to drag this outro for too long because it's already going to be one really long episode yet again But it's a special one of the final episode. So uh, yeah, I don't really care on that aspect But yeah again, thank you everyone so much for watching i'm definitely gonna do like some sort of minecraft series after this it might just be that uh, survival island we will have to see but i guess i'll take a small break at least from minecraft but uh in the near future we are going to be starting something new and we'll see if that's gonna be that survival island or something else we shall see indeed so now thank you for watching and until next time, whenever that is, I am signing out from Skyblog Randomizer Nuzlocke. And this is Spade, indeed, signing out. Peace! That was a really weird intro-outro, I have no idea. Yes, they finally bred. They did it. Now they have another son. It's the same kind of... Uh, it's the same kind of son they just had. The pesky son who's always up to shenanigans. Ugh, peace out.